Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Tina from TinaHills.com and this is a very interesting video because this will tell you about what to do in the bedroom when Venus is in Sagittarius. So Venus has just moved into Sagittarius and this is the time of adventure. Uh, it, sex and lovemaking can now be treated like a sport. So Venus and... Um, uh, the ruler of Sagittarius, which is Jupiter, are the tr two great benefics in astrology. So there is an abundant, uh, generous energy with this placement that's available to all of us. Okay. Of course, you have to look at a specific natal chart to see how this is affecting you. But generally, uh, Venus in detriment and Scorpio can be very intense. Although for me, it's it was amazing. But uh, Venus in Scorpio, moving into Venus in Sagittarius, lightens the atmosphere, lightens the mood. Again, we are open. We are not jealous, obsessive, possessive. We are now ready to experiment, go to the next level, meet new people. Okay, so uh, this time with Venus in Sagittarius, we are more experimental in the way we look for partners, in the way we, and of course, foreign people attract a lot because Venus, our love principle is in the sign of foreigners, Sagittarius. So we are very interested in other cultures and uh, the people from other cultures and they can really, um, you know, entice us and inspire us into a lofty, elevated thoughts of passion and desire. So there is a definite directness to Venus and Sagittarius and she's almost uh, innocent in her frankness you know she wants to be frank about the way she feels about how she wants to make love about you know um, how she wants to uh, be uh, chased or if she wants to do the chasing she's going to be open about this that's what we all channel we are now more open more direct and we speak of our desires and our needs to our partner of course if our partner's extremely jealous and you know blocking us from expressing ourselves and we'll become jealous later on then maybe it's not such a good idea but generally if you're normal if you are uh, comfortable in your relationship and this is the time when you uh, are ready to talk about things that you would not talk about otherwise because Venus in Sagittarius brings about this openness this directness and um, now we can talk about uh, taboo subjects like threesome which Venus in Scorpio will not hear of I mean maybe but you know Venus in Sagittarius is more uh, for that kind of energy rope bondage because you know it's very visceral Sagittarius is a very visceral energy as well you know they can climb mountains and they can read Nietzsche so it is that kind of polarity the archer is very flexible mutable very flexible energy okay and um, very whimsical so courtship can become very whimsical you can suddenly get ghosted you can suddenly want to ghost somebody uh, you play on your whims and that is very attractive to you okay and uh, this is the time to have fun uh, venus and sagittarius is definitely the fun uh, the, the the time to go out have fun uh, meet new people go so go go uh, out more socialize meet new people from uh, new things and you know talk about things because venus and sagittarius can be very chatty okay and laughing together because this is the time to have fun in bed. Venus and Sagittarius. Sagittarius always has a sense of humor. Jupiter's jovial. So in bed, this is the best time to bring jokes and fun and roughhousing and open direct communication, right? Uh, however, Venus and Sagittarius can be very selfish. They are so into getting off and being whimsical that they oftentimes don't care about the partner. So always make sure you are um, looking after your partner as well and making sure they get off too. Now, um, with this, this is this is the time you know you can eat in bed together. Uh, you can just laugh. You can you know uh, run to the forest, trek, and uh, you can rough house. These kinds of things, adventurous things. You know maybe do some extreme sports together and um, 
you know, uh, make love, uh, wild love. It's very possible right now. So uh, make sure you have an open conversation with your partner during this time about your sexual preferences and your likes and desires. And you may be surprised uh, at what you find. Simple as that, okay? Now, if somebody's playing hard to get right now or acting very possessive, getting obsessive, uh, demanding exclusivity, then you know the relationship may flake off. Okay, someone may just run away. Ghosting is very typical of Venus and Sagittarius. Keep that in mind. So do not play hard to get if you're looking at someone. You know, if you want to experience something, go out and experience something. Sagittarius is all about in spiritually enriching yourself through experiences. So sex can be a great way to uh, experience uh, new things and, uh, you know, uh, new cultures, new ideas and stuff like that. So... As I told you, this is not the placement when you stick to one person. You want variety. The key word of Venus and Sagittarius is variety. Okay? And uh, you don't want this. And if you are in a monogamous relationship, yes, you could cheat. But if you really don't want to cheat, then try to change it up. Don't do the same old, same old in bed. It's not going to work for you. It won't work for your um, mate either, you know. Maybe they are being heavily affected by Venus and Sagittarius. Who knows? So, um, this is definitely the best time to be single, if you ask me. Okay? Definitely the best time to be single. Venus and Sagittarius. You go out. You meet someone at the club. Uh, you don't even feel like talking about a commitment. Because this is that free-flowing, freedom-oriented, uh, larger-than-life sort of energy, you know. So this is the best time to also learn about love in its uh, multiplicity. Love can be, love can have very many different expressions. So love-making can also. So this is the time to explore that that uh, multiplicity of, of love and how you may express or experience love, you know. And... Um, Somehow, Venus and Sagittarius is always searching for someone new. And even at this time, we can get very fed up, very bored, and we can be looking for someone new. Very, very possible. Fiery, you know, Sagittarius, always looking to the next experience, moving to the next person. Now, love must be free here, okay? Devoid of any demands. Venus in Sagittarius is not like demands, okay? And uh, especially emotional ones. You know, don't start making emotional demands on your lover at this point because they, they want that carefree, adventurous love life right now, you know? Not the best time to ask for a ring on your finger, maybe, you know? Wait up. Uh, and if you act very possessive, your partner will be triggered or put off or if your partner acts that way with you you can be completely put off another thing is Sagittarius is about the philo is archetype of the philosopher so it is about the higher mind so if you can manage to stimulate the higher mind of someone uh, especially if somebody is being triggered by this Venus um, say in the fifth house then yeah you can see something phenomenal happen and and that's when they commit Venus and Sagittarius energy that is when they commit uh, when they see when you you know bring out that higher philosophical part in them that's when they really uh, connect and is forever and they can be very idealistic so in a sense there can be no flakiness or shadiness in the, even if it's a one night stand uh, Venus and Sagittarius is very idealistic. Now, if you have a lover right now and you want to go deep with them, expose them to new experiences because this is what they want. Of course, engage the higher mind and all of that. But expose them to new experiences and that will get them wet like nothing, okay? Uh, you can go clubbing, you can initiate sex at the spur of the moment. It's not like the last video where uh, where I said you plan things out, do it slowly. This is spur of the moment, spontaneous, uh, repeat, okay? It's in repeat. We could repeat frequently now. And it it is so light and so exuberant that you can 
keep repeating it okay if you are balanced uh, relationships must uh, equate to growth opportunities at this time so if you're not growing in some way then you know you just want to break out with venus and sad you're like i've had enough I, if i don't grow mentally spiritually uh, emotionally then i'm not ready this is not it okay so there has to be growth in some sense with uh, uh, sagittarius any planets in sagittarius so what i suggest for the bedroom forget about the bedroom travel go outdoors climb that mountain go trekking and then camp somewhere in the night stare at the stars above talk about philosophy and make out and repeat if you can of course <laughs> now you can play a game together i said sports very very um venus and sad gets invigorated by uh, sport some kind of visceral activity where they can get their adrenaline pumping so play together kayak together do whatever tennis squash uh, run together running together is amazing hiking running amazing venus in uh, scorpio uh have a deep conversation engage just the higher mind the philosophy connect on a deeper level and then engage in foreplay it doesn't have to be slow like venus in scorpio it can be sudden a uh, foreplay may not happen the the act may happen whatever okay new things new ways of probing new ways of kissing new ways of touching definitely okay now uh, if uh, you um, if you've already had a deep conversation then while talking about something you can engage in massage or you can engage in uh, some other kind of spiritual practice like sex magic also works for Sagittarius it's very spiritual and it can uh, manifest but don't go very slow this is a very quick quick energy okay and with foreplay if you can fill it with infectious laughter a uh, romp and roughhousing and uh, dirty humor and if you can have them laughing in bed they are yours okay so before you engage in anything you can even talk to your lover about your deep sexual intimate uh, desires and longings and uh, be open about it i said you can be surprised uh, this is venus and uh, sagittarius can be a great time for singles and also a great time for polyamory uh, which is having multiple lovers because uh, and all uh, all the lovers have provided consent in this relationship so this is polyamory is a hot topic of debate especially with the um, will smith's uh, uh, child willow smith talking about it so this is this is a hot topic right now because we are going to uh, move beyond the conventional sexual sexuality in the age of aquarius you're going to see very many things like multi-partner relationships and venus and sagittarius is not the thing for everyone but for some people it works great i've seen it happen so I know it happens if you want to know more about polyamory go to youtube you can check out uh this video called what about polyamory by the school of life and it gives you a good idea okay another thing with uh, venus and sagittarius there's a showgirl element to this so very exhibitionistic um energy to it okay and so you can use lingerie burlesque costumes and naughty maid costumes or even be a dominatrix with latex whatever it is uh you can definitely you know play out that fantasy of dress up with this okay definitely because you have the showgirl element going so you know toss up the hair and the strip tees and uh, the walk in the heels and all of that very possible with this Tease and denial is amazing with Venus in Sagittarius. They love to play that mm, coquettish uh, tease and denial play. Very many of my clients have seen this happen. So you can use that. Play uh, with your partner. Do something that engages the higher mind, the physical body, uh, the five senses and beyond that. 
okay and uh, I use naughty games like tease and denial and um, be your partner's best friend I think nothing works better than that because Venus in Sagittarius is ultimately looking for a best friend so let me know in the comments below and uh, use these um, ideas and please let me know if they work for you or not subscribe like comment share and give me a good response so i can make more videos and thank you so much for being here uh, see you soon